Hello everybody and welcome to my second video on useful Android utilities. In the first one we touched upon a great little app called ROM Manager that, uh, excuse me, Boot Manager. ROM Manager is different. Boot Manager which allowed your phone to run a couple different ROMs at once. You can check out my YouTube channel if you want to see more about that one. For this one, we are going to touch upon another great little utility, and this one is called Vlingo. That's Lingo with a V in front of it. Now, Lingo is a handy little application that is Android operating system's answer to the Siri running on the Apple iPhone 4. Android was not content to let the iPhone 4S have all the fun, so it has its own application now called Vlingo, and you can find it on the market. Uh, before we get into Vlingo, you might notice this wallpaper that is running here. Uh, it is a live wallpaper called Planetscape. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful live wallpaper. Uh, this is my HTC Thunderbolt again, same one that was running in the first video. Uh, right now I happen to have it on my Go Launcher setup. It's my Thunderstick ROM using uh, Go Launcher as the UI for this particular video. And uh, it's got a theme on the buttons. I believe it's uh, one of the, the blue themes. But uh, before we get into Vlingo, I'll show you the wallpaper real quick. Go to Wallpaper and go to Configure, and you can see all these options here. Uh, it has The wallpaper actually has three different wallpapers in it. The one that it's set on right now is Avalon Falls. And you can see here the Avalon Falls settings are this chunk right here. You can set the falling leaf density, the cloud speed, waterfalls, uh, trees and bushes in the foreground, and then there's the settings for the second one and the settings for the third one. Probably a battery killing wallpaper, but since I usually have it on power and not battery, uh, absolutely love this wallpaper. So here is my main screen for my Go Launcher UI. It's got my clock and weather widget, my calendar, home page. Here's a fairly blank one. You can really see the wallpaper on this one. These are floating islands with waterfalls coming off of them. And it, it's so beautifully done. It looks like you're looking at a, an HD game, not a wallpaper on a smartphone. Just can't say enough good things about this wallpaper. So here we are on my utility home screen. The middle bar is a task manager type utility. This middle bar over here is a quick settings bar that, you know, toggles Wi-Fi, mobile data, the brightness, Bluetooth, all those good things. And uh, some apps at the bottom. Now the top bar over here, tilt this in a little bit so you can see it, is the Blingo bar. Now it looks like your typical Google search bar. Uh, unlike the Google search bar, this one is voice activated, and that is the, the uh, design of it. So you can hit the button, and it will come up to the Vlingo application. Now when it first comes up, it gives you some examples of things that Vlingo can do. Things like sending messages, calling somebody, finding restaurants, running searches, updating social media, getting directions. And these are all things that are highlighted in the iPhone commercials where you have the uh, people jogging and they're telling the phone to text people back or they're looking for directions. And of course now you have the newer commercial where the kid is saying that he wants the name his band and he wants to be called Rock God. Well. I don't think this thing is going to call me anything, but uh, I can do just about anything other than cooking or when dry cleaning and laundry. So when you first bring it up, it's got the examples. And if you go down here to speak it, it comes up to that screen where you can talk to the phone 
and tell it to do a couple things. So let's go through some examples of what you can do. Open settings. Now, Lingo is capable of actually launching applications on the phone. As you can see here, it came up to the ROM settings. Open YouTube. Now, it's pretty good with your standard applications. Some non-standard ones that you might get from the market and everything, eh, not so much. Pretty much what you would expect to have on any ROM, like settings, YouTube, Google, all those things, Lingo is pretty good with. Now, let's uh, try to trick it up a little bit here and see if we can search for a video on YouTube. YouTube search. Green Day. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> we got Fandango, the Green Hornet. Alright, messed up that one a little bit. So let's try some other things. Let's give it uh, something basic again. Text Alex. Hey there, how are you doing? And see, it came up and went ahead and got up a text message to my friend Alex. Now, I'm not going to have it call somebody this, this late, so we'll skip that one. But let's see if we can have it do some of the navigation-related searches. Search for Burger King. Okay, so it came up with some uh, Burger King results near me. Uh, similar to the same search for McDonald's, it, it, it skipped the Burger King that's about a quarter of a mile away from me, and it tends to skip the McDonald's that's a about a mile away from me, but then again, I don't think that's a function of a search, or the application of Lingo is, is doing its job on this particular one. So now let's go ahead and actually test it out with some navigation. Navigate to Starbucks. See, now I have the GPS disabled to save on battery life, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. And there we go. It brought up Google Maps, Google Navigation, and it's got a very fast little route to Starbucks that's about a quarter of a mile away from me. The shopping center is right next door. So, so far, it's done a pretty good job. Let me go ahead and turn the... Oh, that's good. Status bar closed. Uh, that's a first. Alright, let's have it close the GPS. And then let's see if we can trip it up a little bit. So, we'll go to the app drawer here, we'll pick an app that it might not be able to get. Alright, Slacker Radio. Let's see if it works with Slacker Radio. Apparently, Vlingo didn't want to play nice there. Okay. Open Slacker. Uh, surprisingly, it did it. Sometimes when you have applications that are not standard, things that aren't cooked into ROMs or uh, default phone apps, it doesn't always do the best job. It's pretty good that it got slacker. Open Titanium Backup. Okay, as you can see here, it's doing a pretty good job. It was able to get slacker, YouTube, and titanium backups. 
so it's been three for three on this one. Now, where Lingo really stands out it would be good for car mode. And it's actually got that ability right up here by the steering wheel. Now, one thing I want to point out, and you would expect this to be in the settings, but it's not. It's actually down at the bottom. Auto listen. If auto listen is checked, it enables you to simply click the Vlingo icon and have it go right into listen mode rather than come here and give you some examples and have you hit the button in order to get it to listen. If you go into the menu, you can go into settings and it's got some things here like playing the tones, your default search engine, uh, auto dialing people if it believes it really understands you. Before we go into car mode, let's try some stuff on social networking since they talk about it over here. Update Facebook. It is a great day today. And as you can see here, it's come up to a social networking update screen. It's got Facebook highlighted. Twitter's grayed out because I don't have a Twitter account and it's not on for the phone. And I'm not even too sure what the, the rightmost one over there. Probably a check-in or a four-square type. But it's ready to post my update to Facebook. So as you can see, it's a, it's a fairly handy utility. It's pretty powerful. Now let's go ahead and put it in car mode. This is where some of the fun for Vlingo really starts. Now it has the ability to get woken up simply by your voice. Hey, Vlingo. What would you like to do? Find Starbucks. Local search. Starbucks. Leave Vlingo in car to complete action? Yes. Okay. Well, maybe it won't respond to the okay. Okay. Well, I had to hit the okay button, but uh, there's that Starbucks that I found on the navigations right here on top with less than a mile away. So, as you can see here, this looks very similar to the typical uh, Droid car panel screen. Now, uh, it does state that this particular mode does use a little bit of battery, so you may want to have it plugged in for this, but if you are driving in your car, as you know in a lot of states, you can't actually have uh, be on the phone and everything, so you can have this on a car dock, and you can wake up Vlingo just by speaking, and then have it do something. Hey, Vlingo. Hey, Vlingo. What would you like to do? Text Jimmy. Send text message to Jimmy Yarrail. Speak your message. Okay, so maybe it didn't get his last name so well, but as you can see, it, uh... Message that is the baby pin. Say send. Cancel. <laughs> speak your message. <laughs> that was, uh, that was humorous, but, um... As you can see here, it's very similar to Car Panel. It allows you to uh, use your voice to command it. So it's pretty good if you've got the ability to have a car dock and, and have it stay on power and not chew up your battery. We'll give it one last test over here and uh, see how it works. Hey, Vlingo. Hey, Vlingo. What would you like to do? Open Pandora. So as you can see, it's been pretty consistent in this video. It's done a good job. Uh, it's a handy application. It is designed to be Android OS's uh, response to Siri running on the iPhone 4S. And uh, as we can see from the highlights in this video, it's done a pretty good job of getting people up to text and send messages. Uh, it was really good with opening applications. I've been able to defeat it several times, but it did pretty good for this video. And uh, it's on the market. Uh, it is free, so get it if you like to voice command your phone. Have a good day, people.